What's up, fam? It's the one voice. It's me again. Still representing Pumpin' O.B. Floyd. I am so inclined to come over here. I can come over here and see it, what exactly is going on. That's the name of the church. For our opening introduction. To become a part of this community affair event, you're welcome to come on over. Praise the Lord. To everybody that is here, get the Lord a hand clap. All right. All right, that was pretty good. That's like a hand clap for me. <laughs> I said, get the Lord a hand clap. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is better. My name is Minister Ira D. Herbert. I am the, the founding pastor of the upcoming church that you see that is behind, behind us. This is a community church. The vision of this ministry is to build a total quality community church that's going to strengthen, empower, and preserve families. How are we going to do it? We're going to do it sociably, economically, but most of all, we're going to do it spiritually. Divine Minister Vision is where people come first. That's right. Not the preacher, but where people come first. God has put us in a unique position here today in that location in the area that God said that he's going to make some changes and some movements in this, in this area. And we are glad and happy to have you out today. The way the Divine Ministry is set up is based on the doctrine of Jesus Christ. That's the doctrine that we teach at this ministry. The doctrine of Jesus Christ, straight out of the Bible. Amen? And that's what we do. We believe that in order for you to make changes in your life, the Word of God must be activated. Touch somebody and say activated. Activate. Yes, the Word of God must be activated in your life. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the way the Word of God be activated in your life, you should be able to see some changes in your life. If you don't see no changes in your life, and you're doing the same thing, getting the same results, then if you like it, keep doing it. But if you don't like the results that you're getting, you need some new knowledge and some new understanding to stop you from doing the things that you've been doing. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. And then once you get on track, if you get off track, the first thing you should do is turn around and come right back. Amen? Praise God. And so, we believe at this ministry that we should be able to rise, go above, and go beyond. Amen. We believe at this ministry we should stop looking at our situation and start looking at our destination. Amen. There's too many of us now that we are caught up into our situations which will prevent us from getting to our destination. Therefore, we, we, we have a clog. Amen. And when you have a clog, the water in your sword, the water in your life, it doesn't flow right. And that's why some of our blessings do not get to the Lord because we have a clog in our prayer. This ministry will help you and teach you how to unclog those clogs, amen, and how you can get a word, how you can get a message to God. And when you come to this ministry, amen, this is not my church. It's the people's church. Amen. And in this ministry, it is based on teamwork. You see the pastor. I'm leading the team in working. A lot of pastors, you can't find them this time doing this type of work. But I am a people, I'm the people's pastor. Amen. And so this ministry is based on teamwork. What is a team? A team is a group of people working together for one common goal, and that goal is salvation. That's what a team is. And in this ministry, we have team one, team two, and team three. Everybody that comes into the ministry, amen, is assigned to a team. Amen. Therefore, you will never, never, never not know what's going on. Because your team leader knows what's going on. And if you have any questions concerning anything of this ministry, you go through your team leader. Team leaders have been very well taught. The pastor is always there on stand 
by. But these guys have moved to another level in their lives, spiritually, socially, and economically. And that's one thing that this ministry teach is how you can change your life and move to a level that you've never been to before. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And many of us has already used everything in the level that we're in. Amen? But we're still in that level trying to move to the next level using the same knowledge. You cannot get to the next level using the same knowledge. Amen? So you're going to need new knowledge. And how you get that new knowledge is that you have to be taught. And that's what this ministry is all about. I am a teaching, preaching preacher. Amen? And if you're not in for a high spirit, praising the Lord, jumping and shouting, running over the church, jumping over pews, giving God some glory, giving him some praise. Hallelujah! Touch somebody say, God, is good. Touch him back and say, all the time, he is good. Did he wake you up this morning? Uh, did he start you on your way? Say yeah!
the word of God. That's the only way you're going to be right, is by the word of God. That's what's going to make a change in your life.